This is for all them PS boys out there, man. Y'all know what time it is. If you a Sony phony, you need to get hype. If you a Xbox boy, you need to get hype. If you a Nintendo boy, you need to get hype. Get hype, get hype, get hype. If you a Sony phony, giddy up, giddy up. If you a Sony phony, you need to get hype. Get hype, get hype, get hype, get hype. Man, it's about to go down. I said that.
sorry for the wait, man. Sorry for the wait. Had to take care of something. That's very important. You know, family is first. Um, what's going on, everybody? How you guys doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Wake up, man. Y'all need to... <laughs> uh, <laughs> y'all need to wake up. Y'all sleep? Some of y'all sleep? Y'all need to wake up, man. I'm sorry about the wait. I'm, I really am. Sorry about that. Just had to uh, take care of some stuff. I don't know how many of you guys were in here waiting. Uh, sorry about that, guys. My apologies. Sorry. 100% sorry about that. It's over um, 9, yo, that, uh, <laughs> um, Dan Ward, what's up, man? How you doing? Um, Dan Ward, thank you so much, man, for becoming a sponsor. Really do appreciate it, my guy. Um, make sure you go to the community tab on the channel. That's where you will find, um, link to the private discord as well as my PSN ID. Thank you so much, man. We're trying to get to a hundred followers by the time the PS5 comes out. So we got plenty of time. Uh, so welcome aboard, Dan, and you will get access to talking with me one-on-one -on, -one on PSN and whenever we do have our game night. So, and also game giveaways. Oh, you love the shirt? Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. Make sure you guys hit that like button, man. Gang, we in here. All right, so we do have our a lot of stuff, as you guys can see right here, a lot of stuff to talk about. So hopefully you guys are staying safe. Me, I'm trying to do everything in my power to stay safe. You know, you got a family, you got kids, man. You got to protect yourself. The wifey is in the house. That's the real fly girl gaming right there. Not that fake fly girl. This is the real fly girl, the goat fly girl gaming. Uh, Cody Brooks, what's going on? Thank you so much for the two dollars. As wish it was more, but here, thank all. Oh, Look, never apologize for giving, okay? Never apologize for giving. What you give is what you give, and I appreciate it. Just by you here, I say you're rocking a polo shirt today. You guys like the shirt? Uh, it seems as though you guys like the shirt, so I appreciate it. You know, I like to switch it up on you guys, man. Yes, no bootleg fly girl. That's the real one right there. Um, So, <clears throat> yeah, she's been busy with work. She's actually um, protection from fake... <laughs> She's 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 off work today, so that's why you guys are seeing her um, in the chat. But you guys know, man, family is first. You know what I'm saying? You got to take care of the fams, make sure the fams is good and all that. Um, all right, people. So I'm not gonna keep y'all waiting any longer. Let's dive right off into the topics here. Uh, let's summarize the topics and then let's get with the shoutouts. Okay. All right. So first thing is first here, guys. We're gonna be talking about the PS5 August state of play. OK, and this one right here is very interesting because we heard from Roberto Serrano that it's going to be August the 6th and now apparently got pushed back or it's not happening. It's kind of all over the place. But Jeff Grubb, my man, Jeff Grubb, we had him on the show. We had him on the one on one version of the show. And yeah, really, really cool guy. He's very credible. He's right about stuff. So we do have a possible window of when we can expect the PS5 August state of play. Um, thank you so much, Falco, for that $5, man. Let's go, my guy. It says, how is it going, man? It's going great, man. Just here grinding, working hard for you guys, staying busy. So appreciate that $5, man. One love and God bless my boy, Falco, hitting us upside the head. Make sure you guys hit that like button, abuse the like button, hit that share button. As a matter of fact, I didn't even get to put it out on Twitter as well. Uh, Got to get the Twitter gang involved. But yeah, guys, so <clears throat> interestingly enough, I think, you know, and, and it's, I'm, I'm going to tell you guys this true story, true story. And if this happens, then maybe God is just in tune with me. OK, so I had a dream last night about Sony revealing the date of the of the the next state of play event. Right. And so the date um, in my dreams, actually, the date was August 17th. So literally I woke up and I something just said, man, um, the date is August 7th, August. I can't even speak August 17th. You need to tweet that out. I said, man, I'm not about to, I was talking to myself in third person. I said, man, I'm not about to, <laughs> I'm not about to, um, tweet that, tweet that out. You know what I'm saying? And it's not the real date. So real talk though. Um, yeah, August 17th, I dreamt about that's how, you know, when you're 
inclined, mechanically inclined um, with your job and everything like that. And I just, I, for some reason, I just couldn't resist. Like for some reason, I was just like, yeah, August the 17th is the date. And I, I really want to, I really wanted like, go ahead and, and put that tweet out. And I was like, August 17th is when the next state of play is going to happen. That was my dream. And so when I looked it up, it said Monday. So I was like, wait, that's a Monday because normally like at least with Nintendo, most of the times it's normally Tuesdays, Thursdays, sometimes Fridays, but Mondays too. A lot of times companies do stuff on Monday. So who knows? Maybe I have some psychic powers. Maybe I'm right. Maybe my dream is right. But we're gonna hear what Jeff Grubb has to say about the time frame that we could expect the state of play. But yeah, just have in the back of your head August 17th, just in case if it's right. I, I just I don't know. If it is, then you know my dreams are really, really good, right? When it comes to predicting stuff like that. So uh hopefully you guys get a get a good little twist out of that one. And um, so yeah, we're also gonna be talking about Haven Dev. Um, PS5 120 FPS. So we got another game here that is really sort of showcasing what the PS5 is capable to do when it comes to FPS and everything. So I think that this is very, very, very good moving forward. And you know, a lot of people, at least from the Xbox side, they always say that the PS5 somehow cannot do 120 FPS. Like we had the gunk developer that said, oh yeah, PS5 cannot do 120 FPS, only the Series X. Like really? Clearly that developer sound like a fanboy. I'm just kind of like, wait, huh? That don't even make sense. Thank you so much, Farmer, for subscribing. Welcome aboard. Make sure you turn on that notification bell on all. And it seems as though we're summarizing topics, guys, and then we're going to get with the shout outs. So we're going to talk about free Xbox multiplayer, preferably free to play games, right? Because, you know, with PlayStation, it's free, right? Like Warzone is free. You know what I'm saying? So I think Microsoft is trying to match that. So we're going to kind of dig in a little bit much more detail on that. We're also going to be talking about PlayStation Now. There's a new feature for PlayStation Now that I think a lot of you guys will definitely get a kick out of. And I told you guys, I said, man, <laughs> Sony have something up their sleeve when it comes to PlayStation Now. We just don't necessarily know, but I'm telling you guys, Sony got something up their sleeve when it comes to it. And we're, we're going to find out once we get that full teardown for the system and everything so i think a lot of people can you know get excited and get hyped for that um also we're going to be talking about xbox secretly changed their slogan so i don't think a lot of people was paying attention to this but someone pointed it out yesterday and i think it was like a slow build up but yeah they changed their slogan and when i say slogan i mean you know how they were touting the the world's most powerful console in the world you guys are gonna be surprised that's why i tell people man stop believing everything these corporations be saying yes we know on paper the series x is more powerful but has time has shown us the xbox showcase did not match up with that power and all of that type of stuff and so we're going to talk more about that. We're also going to be talking about EA is signaling that they want to buy WB games. Please, Nintendo, Sony, or even worse come the worst, Microsoft, it's not EA, go. not even EA. I don't want EA to pick them up. Jasmine Karen with the 20. Let's go, man. Let's go, Jasmine Karen. Thank you so much. That makes you the top stream donator so far really do appreciate you helping us knock out this 200 dollar daily goal that we have here guys we got a 200 dollar daily goal and yeah we're trying to hit it out so appreciate the love man appreciate the love thank you so much for that 20 uh zeke thank you so much for subscribing welcome aboard make sure you turn on that notification bell on all uh oj is in here we got oj let's go man let's go we got oj up in here Look, like I said, I want EA garbage, garbage. I ne I don't want EA to even think about. Oh my God! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! What's going? <laughs> they activated. They activated the special beam cannon back to back. Versatile with the fifty, 
and Blue Squad with the 20. Here we go. Here we go. I'm telling you, man, this is the craziest show on, out on YouTube. Oh, my God. <laughs> Special Beam Cannon. Let's go, man. Thank you so much for that 70. That knocks our goal down to $110 dollars man i appreciate that ultimate gamer thank you so much for subscribing really do appreciate it. you smell donation war i smell donation war too so um versatile that makes you the top stream donator over blue squad and my boy falco so thank you so much for that um so i'm hoping that ea um does not buy wb because if they buy wb they're going to ruin literally ruin <laughs> you know what i'm saying everything that could potentially come out of that deal i'm just saying because ea is notorious for microtransactions i mean they're the one of the companies that are really not taking next generation serious i talked about this in my previous show i think was it yesterday that they're actually bringing over star wars squadron and it's going to be the same version as the ps4 and xbox one version so please i don't want wb to to actually um go to ea just all the other companies but no not them um where we also have uh some special information david thank you so much uh for subscribing and we do have sent uh, uh cedric thank you so much for subscribing make sure you turn on that notification bell on all so you never miss out on what we got going on here and blue squad once again that puts you at 45 versatile is edging you out by five bucks thank you so much man for that 45 really do appreciate you so that's 25 dollars. let's get you up on the board man let's get you up on the board so that knocks down our total to 85 holy cow thank you we almost there all right so shout outs to hip-hop gamer man that's a brother from another mother. I've been knowing hip hop since 2006. Our friendship, our brotherhood has been stemming from that long ago. We, we went to E3 together numerous of times. I met his grandmas before she passed. And so I say all of this to say this credit goes to hip hop for this story. He was the first person to talk about the DLSS. That is quote unquote Sony's secret sauce. Okay. So that's the secret sauce. Um, that is apparently behind the scenes that Lisa Sue from AMD was actually talking about. Yo, Chris B um, with the 20 says could be worse. Google Stadia could buy them. Oh God, Chris B, don't say that, man. Thank you so much for the 20. Don't say that, man. That knocks us down to $65. Let's get it on, man. Thank you so much, Chris B. Appreciate that, man. But yeah. Yeah, we, we definitely don't want that to happen. We definitely don't want that to happen. I mean, that that is just insane. Um, Let's see who else we got. Who, Blue Squad with the 15. Wait a minute. That that puts Blue Squad at the top stream donator. So thank you so much, man. Um, So I think a lot of people still confuse on DLSS. It's pretty much deep machine learning. It's pretty much like super sampling basically like how you can take something that's 1080p and you know up it to like 4k and it actually looks better than actual 4k you know what i'm saying with double the frame rates and everything chicago boy thank you so much all my thank you so much for subscribing um welcome aboard let's get my boy blue squad up on the board here i think he donated 15 dollars, so that knocks our goal down to 50 bucks so we got $50 more to go. So thank you so much for the support, guys. Dono Wars is back. Um, so yeah, so Hip Hop had an exclusive interview with Kojima Productions. And I'm going to tell y'all right now, shout out to Hip Hop Gamer, from what he heard from Kojima Productions, DLSS is going to be the future. All right? It's going to be the future for next-gen consoles. It's going to be the future for PC. I'm telling y'all, man. And Sony is at the heart of it. Sony just has the better version when it comes to DLSS. All right, so that's super sampling from NVIDIA. This is the 2.0 version. We're gonna kind of dig a little bit much more deeper into that. We're also gonna be talking about PS5 Pro and Series X. And a potential patent is actually hinting towards a PS5 Pro actually happening. Uh, we're also gonna be talking about Xbox and them needing to sell the Series X to players. 
Um, we're also going to talk about Halo Infinite multiplayer as well. Jeez, man, you guys are going crazy right now. Arr, let's go, man. We out here versatile, regular with the 25. Put me back up. Yes, sir. That puts you at the top of the pyramid, my man. That, that's what, 75 from you. So appreciate that. So that knocks us down to... Let's say, it's, let's say $25. So now we're down to $25. Really do appreciate you guys. Let's get with the shout out so we can get right off into the news. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Make sure you guys hit that share button. Let's get it on, man. Thank you so much, man. Bringing that Dono Wars back. It's been a while. It's been a while, but we're back. All right. So tag me at Marlin Gaming Nation. Let's get the show on the road. We do have a lot of stuff to talk about. So let's get it popping. Okay. All right. So hawk after uh after burner how you doing man farmer what's up man um CeeLo, what's good um chappelle what's up man how you doing legendary we got dan ward dan ward make sure you go to the community tab to get your private discord link and my psn id add me blackfire jits emmanuel um the truth huffman cap um chris um luke um gv um van thank you so much for the support really do appreciate you jeep jeep jits what's going on um drew king mo sad um skip jack lucas um the beast c uh cz um set how you doing amir how you doing shadow the ghost how you feeling how you doing um beverly um michael how you feeling? How you doing? All right, champ. You're the GOAT. Happy. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Jasmine, appreciate you trying out to get our merch up, man. Really do appreciate you. Can't wait to see the new designs for Teespring, man. We we, we hype out here. Um, oh! Yes, to go even further beyond! Yo! <laughs> Yo! Let's Jack ja Jackie with the 140. Let's go, man. Oh my, I'm telling you, man, when God gets ready to bless you, man, ain't nobody can stop it. Yo, she's like, man, forget that. I'm the top. I'm the top elite donator here. Sit down, boys. Sit down. Let me show you how it's done. Jackie with the with the the many pockets. She had she's the octopus when it comes to them pockets i'm telling y'all man jackie thank you so much for that 140 i really do appreciate that man you just resetted the board i mean jesus jackie thank you so much that gets you a huge tactical nuke as a matter of fact uh that, that resets the board back to 200 as a matter of fact let us man all type of stuff going on today we haven't even got into the to the topics yet and we're getting overwhelmed right now like this is insane this just goes to show you the community that we have here guys the community is crazy thank you so much man she got that octo pocket let's go let's go showing them boys how it's done jackie thank you so much one love and god bless may god bless your store basket really do appreciate the love man thank you guys so much man seriously you guys make the show every time you guys donate every time you guys are here it makes the show grow more and we get exclusive offers like one-on-one -on -one with a lot of big time profile people so appreciate you guys man all right so let's get into the meat and potatoes man because this is what we're here this is what we want to hear all right now we're at the 40 um three minute mark here okay now let's do it at 44 let's do it at 44. so we're at the 44 uh, minute mark here guys and we really want to talk about the state of play for the playstation 5 all right now remember like i said before we had R roberto serrano that actually came out and he did say that we can expect the playstation 5 state of play on the six and then apparently sony is doing some sort of like music uh i think it's called love for music from sony something totally different from what we were expecting and so a lot of people were saying that well you know we might get you know the the announcement for the ps5 
state of play on this event. I don't think so. It's just not Sony's style. Well, apparently the next state of play will drop between August the 5th through the 11th. Hence by Jeff Grubb. So if anybody I'm going to believe is definitely Jeff Grubb. And of course, Roberto. Shout outs to Roberto, man, because he did got stuff right in the past. The, the whole pre-order thing was just kind of off a little bit. But yeah, we still can't count out Roberto. But yes. So Jeff Grubb is saying anywhere between the 5th or the 11th. Now, here's the interesting part. It could be in between. It could be on the 11th. Like I said, my prediction was the 17th. So, I mean, we don't necessarily know, but Jeff Grubb is definitely credible. He was right about a lot of things over there at Venture Beach. Shout outs to Jeff Grubb because he was actually on the show before and really do appreciate him actually coming through and giving us like a lot of inside scoops and everything. And so, I think this is definitely huge uh, to hear that we could be getting um, the next state of play between the 5th or the 7th. Uh, I mean, the 5th or the 11th. I don't know where I got the 7th from. Could be the 7th. But what do you guys think about that? And this is kind of stemming from his summer game mess. Not fest, but mess. That's what Mr. Grubmaster actually names his whole calendar of what is going to be taking place. So what do you guys think? Could it be August the 5th? Could it be the 11th for the state of play? Leave you guys thoughts, man, um, in the comment section down below. And actually, to be honest with you guys, this state of play is a lot of things riding on this state of play because we've been hearing rumors that um, Gran Turismo 7 is going to be a launch game. Like there was some sort of like placeholder, um, for Gran Turismo 7, it was spotted somewhere on somebody's shelf. I don't know if it's a mom and pop store or something along those lines, but yeah, it had a placeholder image inside of the box and it says Gran Turismo 7 for December 2020. So a lot of games always say December 2020, but here's the thing. I actually... Oh my God. Are you kidding me? Oh my God. Bro. Yo. Oh, oh my God. The V H O L. What in the world? 2000. Okay. I'm not even going to even. Okay, tactical. First of all, I got to give respect where respect is due. That's a tactical nuke. Thank you so much. Oh my tactical god! Tactical nuke incoming! <laughs> Yo! Oh my god, man! This is this is crazy. Look, man, you guys seeing history in the making, man. Only only on only in this community you see stuff like this, man. Yo, thank you so much. The E I V H O L. He says, who's the top donator again? It's 220 USD. So you don't get confused. Oh my God. And he is flexing. He is calling out Jackie right now. He is flexing on Jackie. He was like, uh, uh, 220. Oh my God, man. Yo, yo, my man just cleared the board. He just cleared the freaking board. He's like, what? Who's what? What? Who is the top donator right now? It ain't Jackie. Oh, my God. He bro. My man just dropped two thousand Norway dollars, man. Thank you so much. So that's two twenty USD, man, bro. Thank you so much, man. Seriously. Thank you so much. God bless your family. God bless you. Thank you so much for supporting our show, man. I don't even know what to say right now. God bless. Seriously, God bless. Oh my God, man. You guys are pouring out the love. It's, it's almost as if like God is just like, no, I'm going to bless you. I'm going to bless you today, Marlon. I'm going to bless you because you're a good dude and you deliver. You sweat, you grind. I'm going to do. <laughs> Seriously. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much, dude. <sighs> I don't even think anybody can top him now. My man is like, my man flexing with that 220. Bruh, 
Thank you so much, man. I, I appreciate that. I really do, man. Let's go, man. We out here. Thank you guys so much for the support, man. God is God is good, man, all the time. I appreciate you guys. I really do. Thank you guys so much for making this the premier place where you get all your news, your gameplays, everything gaming right here, man. Thank you guys so much for that support, man. If you guys don't see the God in me, I don't know what it is. God always blesses me some type of way, even when I'm not asking for anything. He just comes through. I just, I don't know, but thank y'all so much, man. Seriously. Um, but yeah, so the state of play for August, it's going to be dope, man. Sony got, we got so much stuff that we need to find out about. We still need to know about pre-orders. We still need to know about, um, the UI, which I think the UI is going to be revealed really soon because Sony does not want the UI to get leaked out. So the UI, we still need to know about the system. We still need to know about the back, like the, like the ports on the back. Um, invalid, thank you so much for the three. Um, JV says, not much, it's from the heart. Hey man, look, thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate the love, man. I really, really do. This is, this is why I tell people, if your fans want you to make it, if God wants you to make it, you will make it. I'm gonna tell you that word up, facts. You know what I'm saying? Facts. So I appreciate you guys. So yeah, like I was saying, um, there's a lot riding on this state of play. You know, we still need to know about price, pre-order, release date. We still need to see the UI. We still need to see the back of the system. We still need to learn more about DualSense. So I don't think Sony is gonna cram everything in one event. I think they're gonna spread it out. So we might get another, um, it says, you're the GOAT. Thank you so much. Everybody's been calling me the GOAT, man. Appreciate that, man. Seriously, thank y'all so much. Y'all gonna make me cry, man. If I see one more craziness happen in the stream, I'm gonna break down, man. I'm gonna break down. You guys are amazing. Like, um, The UI is pretty much the operating system. I see a lot of people asking about the UI. What does the UI mean? It's pretty much the operating system, which Sony already came out and said that the operating system is gonna be, hey, sexy. Good. Oh, yeah. The operating system is um, going to be, you know, different it from the place. To go, even oh my God! Oh my God! Ah! Oh my God! Jackie, Jackie, <laughs> Jackie! Oh. Oh my God, Jack. Oh my God. That is two ten from Jackie, Jackie foul play gaming. Thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome aboard. Make sure you turn on that notif notification bell to wait never. That is no, that's 200 from Jackie. Oh my God, man. Oh my God, I, I'm, I'm about to break down, man. I... God, man, you guys. Oh my God, like Jackie, seriously, thank you so much. Jackie is the real envy. <sighs> Jackie, thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Seriously, you guys are amazing. Um, thank you so much, Jackie. Thank you so much. And um, what's his name? I got to make out his name properly. Um, the uh, E I V H O L. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, versatile. Thank you all so much, man. Really, I love you guys man i love you guys you guys are amazing um ruben thank you so much for subscribing welcome aboard make sure you turn on that notification bell on all to you never miss out on what we got going on see the blessing i'm telling you when god when god is working it's like nothing is ever gonna be normal when he's working and i'm supposed to be just knocking these topics out but god is just like uh-uh we're gonna do things a little different out here so I appreciate y'all, man. I really do. Um, now, thank y'all so much. 
Y'all gonna break me down. Um, so <clears throat> let's move along here, guys, to the next topic at hand here. And this is very interesting because we do have a developer, uh, Joe Ford. Thank you so much for subscribing. Make sure you hit the bell on all. Welcome aboard. So next topic is Haven Dev. All right. So we're going to be talking about Haven Dev. This is at the 54 um, minute mark here. 54. Is it? Yeah. 55. I'm sorry. So we're at the 55 mark. Let's talk about this at 20. So 55, 20 guys, we're going to be talking about this just for time uh, stamp um, sake. And so Haven Dev wants to use PS5 120 FPS and DualSense haptics to make gliding feel as smooth as possible. Now we had a developer over there at on the Xbox side of things that the ones that are developing the gunk, the game that they showed off with you using this character and it's going around sucking up mud and things like that in a, in a gun or something, which is crazy. And they're saying that the PS five is not really capable to achieve what they're trying to do with this game on the series X. That is not true because if this developer right here, Haven, the per the, the developer of Haven is saying that, Look, Dirt 5, Dirt 5 is doing, that's a huge third party game and Dirt 5 is doing 120 FPS and this game is doing 120 FPS as well. So the PS5 is more than capable of doing 120 FPS. And so they're saying that they want the gliding to be as smooth as possible. So let's kind of dig a little bit much more deeper into this so you guys can actually understand. It says we are very early steps of working on PS5. It's a bit early for me to say. We will of course try to make the best use of the PS5 new hardware and features. One thing that's the most exciting to me is to use the new gamepad haptic features and a 120 FPS frame rate to make gliding as smooth as possible so this is huge guys now check this out haven shouldn't have too much trouble reaching 120 fps given its relatively low system requirements on pc so there you go that same game called gunk yeah that shouldn't have any issues running on ps5 look at the medium you know what would be crazy with this dlss oh thank you so much joko for being becoming a subscriber welcome aboard make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell um but yeah back to the matter at hand here that shouldn't be a surprise to anybody ps5 is more than capable of doing a 120 fps at 4k now the medium is an exclusive game right for the series x and i think it's on pc if i'm not mistaken because everything is on pc anything that says exclusive is not really exclusive because it's on another platform right and i've been telling people this like some of these developers man i think some of them are xbox fanboys because they'll be saying that oh this can't be this can't run on ps5 are you freaking kidding me like what are you talking about both systems are more than capable of doing 4k 120 fps like that particular developer um, from Dynamic Voltage Games, they're talking about, oh, their Dolphin emulator game cannot run on PS5. Are you kidding me right now? What are you talking about? This is a Dolphin side-scrolling game, and you're saying that it can't run on PS5, and then you have these gunk developer, the, that game called the gunk that you guys saw at the Xbox showcase, they were saying that, yes, that can't run on PS5. The PS5 is more than capable. And you know what? It's confirmed, as far as I remember, that the medium is going to be running at 4K 30 on the world's most powerful freaking console. Okay? So that doesn't even make any sense at all. Like, it, it, just, it just really, really doesn't make any sense. And it's just, it's stupid. You know what I'm saying? To even go out and say that now with this new DLSS super sampling technology that we're hearing that is supposedly the secret sauce for the PlayStation 5. Yeah. Imagine with DLSS 2.0 on PS5 and how that's going to take whatever resolution that they're going to put this game at and it's going to actually 
up res the, the resolution, right? So for instance, not saying that we're gonna get anything 1080p, but I'm just saying, if you have a game that's at 1080p, this DLSS is going to make that 1080p become 4K, and it's actually gonna look better than 4K. So imagine if the developer of the medium, which we heard that it's coming to PS5, right? So if that game comes over the PS5 with the DLSS um, capabilities, and it actually doubles the frame rate, and it's actually 4K 60 instead of 4K 30 on Series X. A lot of people are gonna be scratching their heads like, wait a minute, if the PS5 can do it with that DLSS feature, then why is the most world, the world's most powerful console cannot achieve that natively without DLSS? You see what I'm saying? It just doesn't make any sense. And so you have a lot of these fanboys are sitting here running with the narrative that, oh yeah, mm-hmm, the system is weak. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah. PS5 cannot do 4K 120 FPS. Here it is right here. A developer once again is excited about the PS5 hardware and saying that they cannot wait to implement, um, you know, that particular feature with the haptics, with the game to make the game a whole like different type of experience. Now, here's the thing. It says, I have no idea at the moment. Haven is not especially a tech benchmark game. So I guess the difference is going to be thin. It's going to be a move and a unique story on all platforms. So this is huge. Ryan, thank you so much for subscribing. Um, King Low, thank you so much for subscribing. Please. Okay, now let's move on to the next topic here, guys, because this one right here gets very, very, um, it says your voice is cutting. Um, is my voice cutting guys? Can you guys hear me? Is my, is my voice cutting? Can you guys hear me? Let me know if my voice is cutting. Okay, guys. So let's move on to the next topic at hand here. And this is something very, um, it's fine. No, it's fine. I can hear you. Okay. Okay. All right. Cool. That's all I need to know. All right. So let's talk about free Xbox multiplayer. All right. So we're at the one hour and two minute mark. So let's put that at 25 hater. Thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome aboard. Make sure you turn on that notification bell on all to way never miss out on what we got going on here. Thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome aboard to the nation. So free Xbox multiplayer all right so apparently xbox reportedly to match playstation remove xbox gold for free to play games because we know warzone right now you don't need playstation plus to play it right you can just play for free on warzone and so microsoft is looking to match this and they're saying you know what we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna remove gold requirements for free to play games, which this should have been something that they should have done a long time ago, right? Because a lot of these corporations and everything, they just love money, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna kind of go ahead and dig a little bit much more deeper so you guys understand what's going on here. It says a new report from VentureBeat report that Jeff Grubb states that Microsoft plans to remove Xbox Live goal requirement from playing online and making multiplayer free on Xbox platform for free to play games. In a tweet posted on his grub says that it's going away and playing online multiplayer will be free. So playing online multiplayer will be free, which would be massive for Xbox. You know what I'm saying? And this is something that I heard about. So let's hope in their August um, showcase, whenever they do have that, they can actually clarify this. Maybe this is something for Series X. Maybe they're trying to sit here and try to market it or something like that around Series X to kind of get people, which I'm going to talk about that next topic that I'm going to be talking about. But it just doesn't make any sense. But you guys get the idea of what I'm saying here now. Hopefully that they can implement this. And I think a lot of people will be excited. So Xbox Live Gold is going away 
and playing online multiplayer will be free. They will not force you into ultimate to play online. So there you guys go. This is good. This is good. So, you know, with ultimate right now, it packs in um, gold and the PC uh, variant of Game Pass and, of course, the console variant of Game Pass. Right. So you can play on the PC. You can play, you know, on your console and get all those Game Pass stuff. So you don't necessarily they will not force you to go over to ultimate to play online. So Xbox Live Gold is apparently going to go free. So you can play online multiplayer games for free. I think this is huge. I think that's the least they can do. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know how they're going to market this, especially with existing owners of that whole ultimate situation. I don't know. Maybe when their membership runs out, then it will just automatically cancel out itself. But we'll see how Microsoft is going to do this when it comes to making this free online, because Sony is already doing that right now. And you know we'll we'll see what happens on that front we'll see all right so now let's move on to the next topic at hand here guys we're going to be talking about this playstation now sony plans for a ps4 pro yeah we're going to talk about that don't worry salty what's up man how you doing thank you so much for joining us we're at the one hour mark one hour and six minute mark all right so let's talk about that at 10. All right, guys, so let's move on here to the next topic at hand here. We're at the PlayStation Now new feature. And this is something that I wanted to share with you guys that I think a lot of people would be interested in, because here's why I say this. Sony, when well, now we heard from Hip Hop Gamer about native back, shout out to Hip Hop Gamer. We heard about native backwards compatibility on the PlayStation 5, right? Where you can pop in PS1, PS2, and PS3 games in there. Then we got a patent that was actually indicating that you can play PS1, PS2, and PS3 games. Then I had a company overseas that reached out to me via email from an analyst firm overseas stating that Sony is going to make PlayStation Now a whole lot better than it is now, right? And they're going to implement a different infrastructure as far as price, as far as offers and how they're going to do it. And so this is why I'm kind of believing a PS5 Pro, because here's the thing, they can offer and they just did another patent with the multiple GPUs and cloud gaming situation. It's a lot of things that is actually happening right now. So they're you know trying to make sure that their server blades are ready and better you know what i'm saying because i think they're actually using ps3 server blades and i think apparently they're trying to upgrade it to ps4 server blades or ps5 server blades which is going to be fast lightning fast right especially with that ssd and the power of the ps5 and so i can see sony marketing this thing the right way when it comes to backwards compatibility here's the first one one give you the ps5 digital and the disc based one with backwards compatibility, right? And tied to PlayStation now with a subscription. So if you want to play one, two and three, and with this whole DLSS technology that hip hop talked about, he was the first one to talk about this. Imagine having that DLSS 2.0 implemented with those backwards compatible games. That would be insane. That with Larry, thank you so much for subscribing. Uh, Supra, Supera Garden, thank you so much for subscribing. Make sure you guys hit that notification bell on all so you never miss out. But this is insane. Think about what I'm saying. Imagine Sony uses the DLSS feature, right? The super sampling, right? For backwards compatibility games, right? So three, two, and one. It's just like what Microsoft is doing right now with the Series X with those backwards compatible games where the Series X automatically doubles the frame rate and the resolution and such. But with this DLSS feature, it will be able to some type of way actually upscale those older games. So make a game that came out 10 years ago at 720p look like a 4K game with double the freaking frame rate. So it's like you're playing a brand new game all together. I think that would just be huge if somehow the DLSS can be infused with 
backwards compatibility in some type of way. You know what I'm saying? Unless they would have to code things and develop things a little bit different, but that's just my whole opinion. So that's one aspect of the whole thing using DLSS to kind of, you know, amplify those backwards compatible games via the cloud. And then with a PS5 Pro, you can have native backwards compatibility, right? So where you have your one, your two, and your three games, so you can pop them in there. But I think the PS3 might be the bottleneck because of those um, cell processors and for, you know, developers having a hard time trying to code and make the games work back then to kind of go back over that again, I think it would be a nightmare. But I'm just saying, I think a lot of people will buy a PS5 Pro on that front, right? If you give them native backwards compatible uh, support and maybe, you know, some other little really cool things like more RAM or more storage or something like that. And I think a lot of people will kind of dive a little bit much more deeper into it as far as an investment. Um, <clears throat> so it says, what game shop did you used to work? I used to work at um, play and trade video games. Uh, thank you so much, Poke, uh, for subscribing. Welcome aboard. Make sure you turn on that notification bell on all to way never miss out on what we got going on here. Now, let's get into the meat and potatoes of everything. So. PS Now to feature movie streaming next month. Wow. Let that sink in. So just like what Microsoft is doing with Game Pass, they're literally turning Game Pass into Netflix. Sony apparently is trying to, I'm telling you, man, they behind the scenes are trying to change the wheel here. And so PlayStation Now to feature movie streaming next month suggests the tax collector ad so this is interesting man i mean playstation now i'm telling y'all man has evolved literally has evolved since it first got introduced and I, i'm telling people with the power of the ps5 with the power of the cloud and with this dlss 2.0 i'm telling you man uh, if so y'all better watch out for sony man because sony is not playing and the fact that we know that Sony came out and said that they believe in generations, a company saying that they believe in generations, that means some type of way, whether it's not native or it is native, they're going to give us backwards compatibility in a better way than never before. So I do believe that a company's main staple is saying, hey, look, we believe in generations. And that's why we always get phenomenal support on each PlayStation system all the way up to the PlayStation 5. And so you bet your bottom dollar that backwards compatibility is going to be done in a great way that the competition like Microsoft and everybody else can got to look at Sony and be like, dang, man, I wish we could have implemented some sort of um, key features like that. So apparently there was a tax collector ad. Now it says PS Now movie streaming on the horizon. It says, as you can see, from the image below, there is a boatload of logos on display, including Google Play, Amazon, iTunes, and others that are confirmed to support the film for streaming among which um, courteously features PS Now. So this is huge. This is freaking huge, right? So what do you guys think about all of what I just said? I mean, this is definitely stunning stuff. And wow, giving Netflix some competition, <laughs> talking about giving Netflix some competition. I think that just that is just insane right there uh, for for con. Thank you so much for subscribing. Um, really do appreciate uh, the subscription. Make sure all of you guys turn on that notification bell on all so you never miss out on the daily stuff at 2 p.m. EST. Now, random, but I think about that story you told um, let me see here. Let me see here. Uh, twist. Thank you so much for subscribing, man. Appreciate the love. Thank you guys, man. Um, random. Uh, thank you so much for that $5 Oak. He says random, but I was thinking about that story you told a while back about mortal Kombat three at the arcade when you were younger and I was dying laughing. Oh, thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Really do appreciate the support. Uh, most definitely. Every time I tell that story, man, 
it's just insane um don't worry i'll check twitter i'll check twitter i'll add it to the miscellaneous stuff you know we have a miscellaneous section of the show all right so let's go here to something that i wanted to share with you guys this is something huge and i think microsoft is either eating their words or backtracking their steps here so this this whole xbox change slogan i think is going to hit hard for a lot of people because they're going to be like what they're going to be like confused and everything all right so xbox slogan changed okay now remember how microsoft was touting the world most powerful console well that has changed because here's the thing and this is what i've been telling everybody you've been bragging and boasting about power since xbox one 360 you wasn't even caring about power all of a sudden You've been talking about power, but you didn't show anything. You didn't show anything that really show us the power of the Series X. You showed what PC can do because majority of this stuff that was shown was on PC. Halo Infinite on PC. A lot of them trailers was probably running off of a PC and not on the freaking Series X. So yet, once again, you still did not sell people on that Series X, which we're going to talk about that in the next freaking topic. But yeah, so they changed their slogan, guys, from the world's most powerful console. You ready for it? Wait for it. To the most powerful Xbox ever. Don't you find something wrong with that? That almighty 12 T flop that they've been touting this whole time. Look at this. The world, the, the most powerful um, Xbox ever. Now it's the most powerful Xbox ever and that the world's most powerful um console ever you see that so let's face it man let's face it if you're gonna sit here and toot your horn and say oh we got the world's most powerful freaking console and then you're not showcasing that what does that tell you what does that tell you um king nate thank you so much man welcome aboard make sure you have your notification bell on all to where you never miss out on the daily grind here from 2 p.m est to around four or five o'clock that's when our shows normally um um ends around five and start at 2 p.m est and ends around five but this is the type of stuff that i'm talking about people need to wake up and realize this you know you guys you know i speak the truth now this shout outs to the person the source for this one sean he says so i'm currently an xbox one x player and i love it and ps4 since i was uh bored and decided to check out xbox series x section and it seems microsoft changed from the most powerful console to the most powerful xbox look at that look at that what does that tell you what does that tell you you sitting here touting saying that you got the most powerful freaking console but you didn't showcase that you still haven't showed us what the world's most powerful freaking console can do like come on this is where i expose people on this show i'm not gonna sit here and sugarcoat anything and you made 343 look like a fool so this whole 12 point t flop crap i don't want to hear that mess i don't want to hear nothing about no 56 cus not until you can show me what this 56 cus can do or this additional g flop uh, g flop might as well call it g flop gpu power is capable of because halo infinite that ain't it chief and you made 343 look like an idiot coming out here and apologizing wow they change it so why are you changing it and and for people who say this is a hoss look at this is on their website this is on their website look see this is on microsoft's website when it comes to the series x they changed the freaking slogan now it's the most powerful xbox ever so yeah man i don't want to hear it no more man i don't want to hear no more talk about power not until you fully utilize your business practices to the fullest extent there is no way everwild should have been at the show there's no possible way that hellblade should have been at the show you know why because you didn't have gameplay if heck if you had the people over there at everwild at rare saying that you know what we don't even have gameplay to put together to showcase 
You see what I'm saying? They don't have all their eggs ready, bro. Their eggs are atching, but their eggs are not in the same place. It's like, Microsoft, what is going on? Phil, what is going on? And then you got 343 coming out, apologizing and saying they're sorry for what we have experienced. There's no way that bill of Halo Infinite, you're showing this to the world. First impression is always the last. So why is it that you're sitting here touting and saying at the top of your lungs, we got the world's most powerful console. That's a bold statement. And now you change it to the most powerful Xbox ever. Yes, we know that. All right. We know that already. We know that it's 40, um, what's it? 40 percent or 40 times faster than the, the 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 Xbox one. So we know that already. But if you're not going to show games, then it don't even make sense. Um, the date for the state of play, Jeff Grubb says between the 5th or the 11th, the 5th or the 11th. OK. Um, K C A. How you doing, sir? I'm doing great. Just trying to deliver the, the, the news, the truth for you guys. So don't get so hyped up and choked up into all of this jazz when it comes to Xbox touting. Oh, we got the world's most powerful console, but yet still, we still haven't seen games that are showcasing that capability. You get what I'm saying? So I don't want people to sit here and fool themselves into thinking that, yeah, you're getting the, the, the best box when it comes to power, but there's nothing to showcase. Ray tracing wasn't even shown and your competition showed way more games. Whether people want to sit here and say, oh, Ratchet and Clank, right? Rift Apart is, is a game for kids. Are you kidding me? It's a game for kids. So you got these Xbox fanboys that are damage controlling. Don't damage control, bro. The truth is the truth. Yes, I know the truth hurts. Where is the grant? Where is the uh, Forza gameplay? Where's the Forza Motorsport gameplay? When Gran Turismo 7 had freaking gameplay. But you say you're going to match Sony and you say that the games that this came out of Phil's mouth. Phil said that the games that they're going to show. Oh, yes. Yeah, Sony show was great, but we're going to be better than Sony. We're going to the games that we're going to be showing is going to look better on our console. What CGI trailers? What? Halo Infinite that looks like a 360 game. Are you kidding me? What? Tetris running at 120 FPS. Don't get me started. My whole thing is this. If you're going to sit here and toot your horn and say that you got the world's most powerful freaking console, back up that freaking claim. Back it up. Sad, man. Sad. Sad. <clears throat> I hope people are going to wake up and realize that all this power talk means nothing unless you have games to back it up. All right. So we're going to move on to our next topic here, guys. And this is the whole EA situation. OK, now EA signals buying WB games. Please, God, do not let this happen. So we're going to talk about that at 50. So here we go. So EA signals buying WB games. I am praying to God that EA does not purchase WB games. EA have very horrible business practices that I just cannot get with. Like, okay, the new Star Wars game that they showed off at the EA presentation that they had, which was garbage, by the way, that whole EA press conference, well, not press conference, but their whole conference was trash. They didn't really show any gameplay. And so that Star Wars squadron for somebody that really likes Star Wars games, that was very underwhelming. And apparently the Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 version of the game is going to look the same way as the PS4 and Xbox One version already. And then they're slapping us in the face with Madden. OK, apparently you have a certain amount of time to buy Madden in order to get the free upgrade. It's, it's just it's just a lot of bad business practices that I just don't like about EA. And if EA purchases WB, it's all going to be doom and gloom, because honestly, I would prefer for Microsoft or Sony or Nintendo, some other big publisher to come in and actually fully utilize WB, not freaking EA. I do not want EA to actually throw their hat in the arena because we know EA got money and money talks. All right. Money talks in this world. And as long as you got that bread, 
bruh, that's all that matters. Money talks over everything else. And so we're going to kind of dig a little bit much more deeper into this so you guys can understand what's going on here. It says, while EA wasn't interested in commenting specifically on recent Warner Brothers interactive acquisition rumors, the publisher said it's open to buying more studios. EA published strong results for its first quarter of um, the first of uh, the first first um, physical year 2021, if I'm saying that correctly, following the earnings reveal, EA exec took investors questions. Now, here's the thing. And I am praying to God that they don't, bruh, I'm praying to God that they don't get uh, swiped up by EA. Now, recent reports that Warner Brothers parent company is looking to sell the gaming unit um, name dropped EA among others as a potential buyer. And you can bet this question uh, came up. Now, EA COO Blake uh, George uh, Georgeson Field was once um, questioned. And you see, the thing is, man, of course, he said that he can't comment on this. He can't talk about this and everything like that. But I'm just literally, bro, I'm praying that EA does not pick them up. Microsoft can pick them up. Sony can pick them up. You know what I'm saying? Nintendo can pick them up, but not, no, we, we can't have that. But we'll see. We'll see. Unless EA is going to do something different. We'll see what happens on that front. All right. So now we're going to move along here, guys, to something that I think a lot of people will definitely be interested in in here and shout outs to hip hop gamer on this one. So we're at the 126 mark. Okay. So let's kind of do this at 40. All right. So we're going to talk about the whole DLSS feature. Okay. Once again, shout outs to hip hop gamer link will be down in the description down below to check out his channel and everything. Um, that's a brother from another mother. I had him on the channel numerous of times and young raw. Thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome aboard. Make sure you turn on that notification bell to where you never miss out. So hip hop gamer had an exclusive interview with Kojima productions. Okay. And in that interview, if you want to go check out his video link would be down in the description. And basically from what we gather here is that DLSS 2.0 is going to be the standard for next gen hardware and PC. So for these next gen systems, PS5 and Series X and PC, look at Death Stranding. Death Stranding is implementing DLSS and it looks phenomenal, right? And so the folks over there at Kojima Productions, once again, shout out to Hip Hop Gamer. This is going to be huge. Now, Hip Hop did say that the PS5 is going to fully utilize the DLSS feature. So this is huge, man. This is freaking huge. And what that's going to mean is that when developers start developing these games with DLSS in mind, it's going to be a game changer. It's going to because you're going to get better frame rate. You're going to get better resolution, sharper resolutions. And 4K within itself is so freaking expensive, right? Let alone 8K. I'm not even going to get off into that. But we've seen what DLSS is capable of. And if this is indeed Sony's secret sauce, I am telling you right now, I am telling you, this is going to be huge for Sony because they can use this to their advantage, just like with the PlayStation 4 Pro, where they actually gave us checkerboard rendering. It wasn't true 4K, but it was checkerboard rendering. Just think about checkerboard rendering, but with DLSS in mind. That's pretty much, it's just a way better technology than the technology that was in the PS4 Pro. So I just want people to kind of get that in their head, you can actually take something like a game that is native 1080p and then turn it into something that looks way better than 4K, right? Like, I mean, actual native 4K with double the frame rate. So 
I'm telling you guys, man, Sony used this to their advantage, especially Kojima, because this was coming from Kojima production. I'm telling you, this would be a huge game changer for newly developed games for next generation. And I think that's where you're going to see the huge gap right between current gen and next generation with DLSS in mind. And there's already reports that are coming out stating that the next generation Nintendo Switch or the next variant of Nintendo's next console is going to have this DLSS 2.0 feature that is built into it. And so that's going to be huge because Nintendo definitely need to use that DLSS, especially with games that are not running correctly. They're not even running at 30 FPS or they're not even running at 60 FPS or 1080p, what have you. Nintendo can actually use this technology to give us better frame rate, better resolution. Thank you so much, Moneymaker, for subscribing. Welcome aboard. Make sure you turn on that notification bell on all. Welcome, man. I speak the truth here. Thank you so much. All right. So let me know what you think about that whole hip hop gamer slash Kojima Productions with the DLSS. Rivet it down in your head because it seems as though that DLSS is going to literally change the game forever. And the PS5 is at the heart of DLSS 2.0. Huge, huge. This is huge for PlayStation 5 gamers huge and the industry as well because this is going to bleed over into pc it's going to bleed over into the series x it's just matter on what developers are going to you know do with their games and how they're going to actually implement this so this is definitely going to be huge moving forward so hopefully you guys find this whole dlss feature amazing for playstation 5 i think it's going to be revolutionary for the industry now Let's talk about Halo Infinite. My God, I made a 12 minute video. Shout out to you guys for sharing and liking because that video had probably it's, it, it's sitting around 22,000 views on that video. And I literally, you know, called out Microsoft in my review. I'm like, this is unacceptable. So we're going to talk about Halo Infinite. And I know the memes is freaking crazy right now, like literally freaking crazy. So let's talk about Halo Infinite right now and 343 um, response here. And as you guys can see, here we go. So Halo Infinite, and is, if you come down here, look at this. I want you guys to pay attention to this because this is how you learn. When you mess up, this is how you freaking learn. It says questions about graphics and visuals first. We want to acknowledge that, yes, we have heard the feedback coming from parts of the gaming community regarding the visuals in Halo Infinite campaign demo. While we see and hear far more positive than negative. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You hear far more positive than negative. Well, I guess so, because the last time I recall, a lot of people was calling out Microsoft, including me, like more positive than negative. It's more negative than positive. But anyway, <laughs> but let's move along here. More positive than negative. We do want to share a bit more context from our perspective. There are two key areas being debated around the gaming community, overall art style and visual fidelity, just like those freaking pop ins. Are you freaking kidding me? Them pop ins that crappy section of the game that you showed. If you're saying Halo is supposed to be an open world game, there's no way you could have just shown that. I mean, this game looks like a two generations ago. Pop-ins, screen tearings. If you look close to it, you can see like two generations ago technology. Like this is, man, this is crazy, man. This is literally crazy. 360 graphics. That, I mean, Halo 3 even looked better than freaking Halo Infinite. Now, Listen to this. Halo 4 even looks better than Halo Infinite. Now, this is what they said. Based on our learnings from Halo 4 and 5 and Halo Wars 2, along with the strong community feedback, we decided to shift back towards the, the legacy aesthetics that defined the original trilogy. That's what y'all should have did in the first place. Y'all should have done this in the first freaking place. 
Why did you show something that was not ready to be shown? That doesn't make any sense to me. And this is what pisses me off sometimes about the industry is that you, you want to show lackluster stuff. You should, you're supposed to show your best. Now you want to sit here and focus on what defines the trilogy. You should have been did that in the first place. Come on, man. Now it says with Halo Infinite, we are returning to a more classic art style. Yeah, I was getting like a Halo one type of feel. I'm this is this is not making any sense, but OK, I get it. You want to go with the classic art style because you want people to feel like they're playing Halo one all over again. Yes, we get that, um, which was a key message going back to the very first reveal that garnered enthusiast and positive responses. This translate to a more vibrant palette, cleaner models and objects with less noise. Though it doesn't mean less detail, we will appreciate this not be everyone's personal preference. We stand by the decision and are happy to see it resonating with so many fans around the world. Yeah, okay. Okay, 343. Okay. The fa I don't know what's going bro. Y'all had $500 million budget behind this game. A $500 million budget. And this is what we get. I mean, what was y'all using the $500 million for? Y'all were using the money on strippers? Like you, you were just doing this, making it rain in the club. I mean, what was you doing? I mean, you were just using the money to wipe your face and play around with it. Or you were actually getting resources and technology and getting the right people working on this game to give us a much more different type of Halo. Halo has been going down the hill for years. And you would expect, you would think that you know they will blow us away with 4k 60 with ray tracing come on man the the series x is more than capable of delivering stunning visuals i mean there's a lot don't use this cross generation thing with me because there's a lot of cross generation games that look way better than halo infinite heck hill zone shadowfall a game from 2013 looks way better than halo infinite so don't pull that card with me and tell me, oh, it's because of the virus. I had somebody from Xbox start following me out on Twitter saying, oh, we're sorry for your, your experience and everything like that with the showcase. We, we're sorry that it didn't meet your expectations. Are you kidding me right now? Are you freaking kidding me? And then you're saying, oh yeah, just, just be, just be light on us because it's the virus, bro. This game has been in development for five years years five years and it's been in development hell for a very long time i heard there's a lot of problems we have disgruntled employees at 343 speaking out and just talking about their experience working there bro this is like a whole nother naughty dog type situation rock star type situation all over again this is this is real man people need to wake up don't be sorry do better like kratos say People need to stop saying that they're sorry. They, Microsoft reached out to me because of my video, because they know my reach. And they're like, oh, wait, wait a minute, man. Let's make it up to this guy. I Look, I met Phil Spencer at E3, spoke with him, seemed like a really, really cool guy. Met Aaron Greenberg. I was one of the first people as a journalist to get my hands on the Xbox One S before it actually came out to the mass. Look up, look up on my channel, type in Xbox One S. And you will see me, me, hip hop gamer with Aaron Greenberg, okay, at the Xbox E3 showcase. I know these guys. You see what I'm saying? And the fact that you sit here and try to sugarcoat it and say that, oh man, give us a break, man. Look, you got to remember it's the virus, bro. I understand for those newly developed games like Fable and Hellblade and State of Decay 3, yes, those games are literally still early in development. And actually, I can't wait to see those games being built from the ground up for the Series X. But don't just sit here and tell me, oh man, just chill, bro. It's because of the virus. Really? The virus has nothing to do with Halo Infinite uh, development. If anything, this game is getting ready to ship in what, another three months? So what is the excuse? What is the excuse that you're going to message me and say, oh, yeah, yes, we're sorry. Don't, don't be sorry. Be better. 
Why did you show Halo Infinite if you know it wasn't ready? That's this, that's the thing that blows my freaking mind. And the, the head on show in charge is Phil Spencer. He's the head. Matt Booty, I don't even know what Matt Booty be thinking sometimes because like like Booty, like what what is you doing? Like you you are over the game portion. Phil is over the whole thing. Like y'all just sit around and twinkle y'all thumbs. Y'all don't look at the freaking show and say, you know what, man, let's kind of pull Halo Infinite. But you know what? If they were to pull Halo Infinite out of the show, then a lot of people would have been more upset. They would be like, where's Halo Infinite? You guys were touting power and touting all of this different stuff that you were going to showcase. Where is Halo Infinite? And so Booty, I think they just sit there. Oh, well, you know what, Phil? We're going to go ahead and screw up the freaking Xbox showcase. Even though we got an old build that's running on PC, we promise, like we said before, that we're going to fix the problem from the last inside Xbox. But we're going to go ahead and screw them up again. We're going to go ahead and just advertise Game Pass because Game Pass is the end all be all thing. And that's what we're really trying to put a staple in people's head. Really? unacceptable unacceptable and now you have 343 gotta come out and they gotta apologize they shouldn't have to do that they shouldn't have to do that that game should have been ready to go the best representation of your game let me tell you something for a lot of other people first impression is always the last if you see somebody for first time, let's say you're dating a chick, right? And you're dating her online. Okay. And you go, you meet the chick, right? Y'all going out, y'all going out on a dinner date or something. You meet the chick for the first time and you saw her and she's not matching up to the pictures that you saw that she sent you prior to you meeting up with this girl. Okay. And you're like, dang, she's oversized. Like, dang, she don't even look nothing like what about that bathing suit body that she promised me? You know what I'm saying? That she promised visually that she looked like. And then when you see her, she just looks like, wait, what the heck? Like a like a nightmare. You're like, uh, uh, bruh, uh, uh, that's your first freaking impression. You see what I'm saying? That's your first impression of her. You're not going to continue to talk to that girl. You're like, man, mm -mm. she looks crusty, feet's ashy. You know what I'm saying? Nails not even done. You know, her breath is hot as crap. You're not going to keep talking to her. You know what I'm saying? You just got catfish. You're not going to keep talking to her. First impression is always, I say all of this to say this. First impression is always the last. You're not going to settle for less when you can get better. You know what I'm saying? You you not gonna you just not gonna do that. And this is the case. It's like Matt Booty and Phil just sit there and like beefus and butthead. Like, oh, let's figure out how we're gonna piss people off. Let, let let's let's push this narrative of Game Pass. That's what they're doing. I just want people to open up their eyes and see what's going on here. It's like we got catfished with this freaking Series X showcase. This is not what Phil promised us. Come on, man. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really sorry. I just had to go in. I had to go in, man. You guys know I'm one of the realists to ever do this. I'm going to keep it real with you guys. I'm not going to sugarcoat. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to speak the truth from my heart. That That's that's nonsense, man. All right. So let's get right back into um, the news here. So we're at the one hour and 43 minute mark here. And let's do this at 40. All right. So let's talk about the idea of a PS5 Pro and a Xbox Series X2 happening. Okay, now we got a recent report that Microsoft and Sony is not going to be going this route because of the fact that 4K TVs are standard now. Back then with the PS4 and Xbox One, we were still was rocking 1080p TV, so it was an excuse for them to give us a PS4 Pro and a 1x right because of 4k tvs and everything now 4k tvs is normally like the standard now so how would they market that well here's the thing 
and I'm going to kind of dig a little bit much more into this. Now it says, I think both Sony and Microsoft were perfectly satisfied with the adaption and capabilities of the pro and the one X and would see no reason not to do that again a few years from now. And I think with these mid gen refreshes and such, I think a lot of people are upset with mid gen refreshes because they're like, dang, man, I just bought the system a year ago and now I got to shell out another five hundred dollars or another six hundred dollars for another mid gen refresh. A lot of people don't like mid gen refreshes, so I'm going to kind of dig a little bit much more deeper into this. So they're saying that, yeah, it seems as though it's going to be happening now, whether we can ex um, ex uh, expect the same exact schedule, a PS5 Pro in 2023 and a Xbox Series X2 in 2024 remains to be seen. But we may have a dynamic where Sony um, tries to leapfrog the Series X um, with a power upgrade, then Microsoft bites back with another upgrade of itself. Now, the reason why they're saying that Sony might be doing a PS5 Pro, here's why. Because the recent patent that we just received with the multiple GPUs, and it did indicate um, some sort of like hardware differences between those multiple GPUs hinting at possibly mid-gen refresh, you know, for the PS5. And we recently got something from an analyst saying that the PS5 is going to last five years and top out at 170 million, which I don't know how that's going to happen. But if the only way that will happen is if Sony delivers on the games, that's the only way that's going to happen. But I don't know how you guys feel about the whole PS5 Pro situation, Xbox Series 2. I don't even think Microsoft is going to even do that because I don't know what they're doing right now. Honestly, with the Series X, you got all that power, but I just don't know what they're doing. Thank you so much, Junior, uh, for subscribing. Welcome aboard. Make sure you turn on that notification bell on all so you never miss out on what we got going on here. Make sure you turn on that bell, man. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. So let me know what you guys think. Would you guys buy a PS5 Pro? Would you guys buy an Xbox Series X2? <laughs> let me know your thoughts in the in the comment section down below. All right. Now let's move on here to the next topic at hand. And this is going to spark a lot of conversation right now. Let's do that at 20. So let's hopefully you guys are enjoying the show. Me, I'm excited. I'm happy to deliver it to you guys. So next topic, Xbox needs to sell Xbox Series X to players. And I have to agree with that for a number of reasons. And here is my first reason. You, you are touted in power. You change your slogan from the world's most powerful console to the most powerful Xbox. You disgrace yourselves at the last inside Xbox by not really showing much gameplay. Then you come back again with this Xbox showcase and you did not show us anything that indicates buy a Series X. What's the whole point? I know, yes, you don't believe in exclusives. Yes, you're pushing the narrative of Game Pass. Yes, we do get that. We do understand that. But you got to go beyond Game Pass. A lot of people walked away from this Xbox showcase feeling cold and lonely in the dark. They're like, man, what the heck? I've been supporting Microsoft all these years. And now I'm not going to support him anymore because that whole Xbox showcase, you might as well call it Game Pass showcase. That's pretty much what that was all about. They're trying to shove it down your throats. They have the nerve to sit here and talk about Sony pushing exclusives. Y'all pushing Game Pass. Game Pass is the end all be all sa savior. And the only way Microsoft is going to learn is if people don't sign up for Game Pass and it blows back into their face. And then they go back to the drawing board and think like, you know what? We need to do good quality exclusive games. You still not getting it. Why is it that you have a console out on the market, but you don't care about people buying it? That doesn't make sense to me. And this is why you have a lot of these Xbox centric channels that are pushing the narrative of specs, T 
T-flops and all this. They rarely talk about games. They do talk about games. It's the studios, but nothing that's actually substantial that will actually make you want to buy a Series X. Now, let me ask you guys this. We got over 600 people in here. Appreciate you watching. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Let me ask you guys a question. Just for Xbox channel's sake, just for channel's sake in period, how many, okay, let me ask this question. How many of you guys are going to be buying a PS5 because of me being at the helm of the channel and I talk about the PlayStation 5 a lot on this channel, okay? And you guys have taken over the channel, so I might as well basically say it's a PlayStation channel mixed with Xbox and Nintendo. So does these Xbox guys make you want to buy an Xbox or is it the total opposite? I just want to know. I just want to ask you guys. Does these Xbox channels make you want to buy an Xbox based off of everything that they've been pushing specs, you know, frame rate, um, all the tech capabilities of the system? Does that make you want to buy the system? Everybody's saying, nah, nah, nope. Uh, yeah, because it's crazy. And I've, I've, bro, I've getting so much emails and messages of people saying, man, thank you. Because of you, I'm getting the PS5 because I love the way how you actually break down the news and give it to us and speak the truth from your heart and not fabricate it and not lie to us. Like a lot of these other content creators, a lot of these content creators, they have money behind the wall and they sit there and push this narrative of like a PR stunt. They push this PR stunt. And it, it, it's, it doesn't make any sense because you know they freaking lie. Come on, man. Y'all need to wake up. Y'all need to wake up and realize what's going on. You see what I'm saying? That's why we get the viewership that we get because people want to hear the truth. They want to be informed, but they want to hear the truth. They don't want somebody to sit there and lie to them and fabricate their minds into thinking because best believe people are going to say, hey, man, because of you, I'm getting a PS5. Because of you, I'm buying this game. So I'm responsible for you guys, because if I'm saying buy the PS5 or buy this game or do this or do that, while you have some people don't care, they're going to buy whatever they're going to buy. But I'm just saying for those people that actually needs, you know, their minds to be made up to buy a system, that's what they do. They go to their favorite YouTubers and they say, hey, I'm going to go to so and so because so and so spit the facts or so and so. People have different reasons. Ed, thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome aboard. Make sure you turn on that notification bell on all so we never miss out on what we got going on here. Like I said, some people are going to buy the Xbox Series X day one. That's fine. Maybe you go to a certain channel and that's where you're kind of getting the information from. That's where you're kind of getting the narrative from. That's fine. Now, let's move along. We're going to get to Twitter. We're going to get to the miscellaneous stuff. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the show so far. Me, I'm working hard. I'm popping sweat. For you guys, I don't think no other content creator has, works as hard as me. Maybe OJ from Playerist and Spawn Wave, maybe a few other, but I bust my behind for you guys. I literally do. Felipe XP, thank you so much for subscribing. Make sure you turn on that notification bell on all. Welcome aboard, guys. Thank you guys so much, man. I had to clear my throat here. All right. So we're going to be talking about Halo Infinite multiplayer for the Xbox Series X, okay? And this is going to be putting us at the 153 mark. Um, let's do this at about 15, all right? Um, <clears throat> okay, Konami posted something on Twitter. We're gonna get to that, don't worry. Man, we're getting a lot of subscribers. Thank you so much, Jonathan. Thank you so much, um, RV. I think, we're, you know, the goal is to see if we can hit 40K by the PS5 come out. I think we might be able to do that. But seriously, thank you guys so much. Um, RI, thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome aboard. Make sure you hit that notification bell on all to wait if you miss out. Okay, so new details emerge for Halo Infinite. Free to play multiplayer. Whoa, did y'all hear that? This is why I started to believe more and more into this whole free multiplayer situation. Carlos Andrews, thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome aboard. Make sure you turn on that notification bell on all to it ever miss out on what we got going. New member, holy freaking cow. 
new member dirk thank you so much man really do appreciate the membership dirk do me a favor go to my channel on the community section of the channel there you will find your care package private discord link as well as wait for it my psn id so you add me on there we can chop it up we can do game nights and we're also gonna have giveaways real soon um in the discord so thank you so much dirk enjoy your perks enjoy your emotes welcome to the family really do appreciate you thank you so much man it's over nine thousand. all right welcome welcome dirk welcome welcome thank you so much for supporting the channel internally okay so let me push this narrative once again for you guys new details emerge for halo infinite i'm sorry freaking camera sometimes just out of focus um new details emerge for halo infinite free to play multiplayer at 120 fps that's what i want to hear 120 fps on the online fully freaking utilize the freaking world's most powerful console even though it's the most powerful xbox okay now let's move along here guys thanks to an irish toy retailer known as s m y t h toys a small tip of, um, about what's to come in halo infinite dropped our dropped on our doorstep the greatly reduced load times are pretty much a given with the xbox series x ssd but it's two other little uh, mor morsels that caught our eye first is the inclusion of up to 120 fps graphics on the series x this is what i'm talking about this is what i am talking about this is what we need to be getting we need to see stuff like this on series x if you're tooting your horn and you're saying you have the world's most powerful console then it should be able to do 4k 60 with ray tracing you have and this is it goes back to what i was saying before about these xbox centric channels right that it that is just supposedly trying to get you to buy the series x but they're talking about specs but the games are not matching up with the quality of the specs you have them saying that this xbox series x is more powerful than a 2080 ti can somebody can somebody please tell me how much is a 2080 ti and the power of a 2080 ti card come on come on somebody how in the name of Jesus is a Xbox Series X going to be more powerful than a 2080 Ti card? But the game that was supposed to showcase that looks like a game from two generations ago. That's a $1,200, maybe $1,300 card. So what is you talking about? That doesn't even make sense. That don't even make logical sense. A $1,300 card. Thank you so much, um, Twisted Gamer, for the $2. Appreciate that. You know, like, that don't even make sense. Now, here's the thing. They're saying the first inclusion of up to 120 FPS graphics on the Series X, we already knew, uh, knew that the console could handle this higher frame rate, but this uh, might be the first confirmation of a Microsoft first party title to take advantage of the technology. Of course, why not? I think Halo Infinite should be your crown jewel. Halo Infinite should be that game that is literally going to showcase what the Series X can do. And that's what I was thinking. 4K 60 with ray tracing, 4K 120 FPS with the online. Yeah, of course I'll buy a Series X for that type of performance because it's the world's most powerful console on paper. But you did not show that. You showed us a old build of a game that just didn't even make sense. What's up, Ace Tech? What's going on? Doesn't make any sense. So of course we know that the system is more than capable of doing 120 FPS for the multiplayer. We know that. Now, here's the thing. Previous announcements by Microsoft and 343 Industries all um, only confirmed the Xbox Series X campaign 
at 4K60. Where's the ray tracing? Oh, let me answer that for you. What's up, Eric? How you doing? Oh, what's up, Foxy? Oh, let me answer that for you. It's going to be patched in. Now, you have a lot of people that are saying that they're going to buy a Series X because of backwards compatibility. Okay. If that's the reason why you're buying new hardware to play old games, be my guest. Be my... Oh, LA Show, you're fine, bro. Be my guest. If you're going to sit here and buy a game or a, a game system to play older games, a next-gen system to play old games, be my guest. If you're not buying it to play new games, be my guest. Thank you so much. Um, I'm, I'm, I really do appreciate it. Ace Tech, let's get you up on the board here, my guy. Really do appreciate you for hitting us upside the head with that special beam cannon $10 donation. Thank you so much, man. Seriously, thank you. Thank you. Um, so, you know, it's just like a lot of people want to buy new systems to play old games. That's just the nature of the beast, you know? versus playing new games. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, if Microsoft can pull this off, multiplayer 100, 4K at 120 frames per second, I'll buy a Series X day one to play Halo Infinite. If And, and here's, here's, here's my caveat. I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. I'm gonna try to make your purchase decision better for you. If your thing is backwards compatibility, right? buy a series x because from from what we know right now as it sits right now sony is only offering us ps4 games which is fine series x x original xbox one games 360 games and xbox one games all playable on the xbox series x right with double the frame rate and and up in some of the resolution on some of the games not all the games right so if backwards compatibility is your thing go with the series x i'm just going to keep it real with you guys Second, if Halo Infinite is your thing and you wasn't really pleased with what was showcased, I'm going to make it easy for you. 343 already said that they're going to be working on the graphics. They're going to be working on things. They still got about three or four months out to get this thing done the right way. Okay. Now, if you're just not pleased with the gameplay and the graphics, then forget about Halo Infinite. But if you are willing to look past, if you're willing to look past the gameplay, and you're saying, hey, you know what? I'm kind of on the fence and i'm okay with gameplay but the graphics yeah the graphics is supposedly gonna look better and they say that they're gonna patch you know the ray tracing i think around launch time so it's gonna be 4k 60 with ray tracing so if you if that's something you want to do be my guest but i think what would really really push and i mean i'm talking about a huge push for me to purchase it is the multiplayer now if the multiplayer just somehow somehow gives me 4k at 120 fps man i'm getting it day one give me a reason to buy a freaking series x thank you so much amir w thank you so much that for clearing the board of sponsors do me a favor amir go to the community tab and that's where you will find access to my psn id and link to our private discord that's where we're going to um talk a lot and also my psn so if you want to chop it up with me on voice call on psn and we can play some games here and there and also have a giveaway feel free to do that thank you so much for so support i can't even speak i'm so overwhelmed thank you so much for supporting the channel internally it definitely does help out I really do appreciate you. And that resets our sponsorship board. Thank you guys so much. And also check out our channel sponsor, guys. Control Freak, link will be down in the description down below. Um, if you want performance thumbsticks like this, and you can use the code MGN to save 15% off. I just got bombarded with a lot of support today. I forgot to mention our channel sponsor, um, our show sponsor. Um, control freak so check it out link would be down in the description and if you do buy something use the code mgn okay thank you so much oh my god <laughs> oh m g man oh my god man you guys gonna make me cry man this is <clears throat> yeah amir make sure you go to the community tab click the link for the discord and add me on playstation so we can talk we can chop it up uh man you guys are amazing man this is like literally the best gaming community the best community out on youtube 
I cannot, when you guys get ready to pour blessings, I mean, you guys are just insane. Um, Nighthawk Afterburner, let's get you a tactical nuke, my guy. And then we're going to get to the miscellaneous stuff. Thank you so much, man. <sighs> breathe, Marlon, breathe. This is overwhelming. Breathe. I work so hard, guys. I work so hard. I work so hard. I put so much passion and time into this. Um, Nighthawk Afterburner, thank you so much once again. God bless you, Nighthawk. With the 50, he said, Marlon, you are the best YouTuber. Um, Marlon, I am buying the PS5 because of you. Thank you so much, man. You know, I just want to add a lot of value to you guys' life, whether it's entertainment, making you laugh, or informing you guys about the latest and greatest in gaming, or just let doing let's plays or talking to you guys one on one in the Discord or on PlayStation Network. And that's what I aim to do because a lot of you guys struggle with depression, struggle with a lot of issues in your life, and you come here as your safe haven for two plus hours. And I really, really do appreciate that. I really do. And all the new subs, appreciate all of you guys, man. Seriously, I cannot thank you guys enough. We're trying to get to 40K. And uh, yes, yes, I have discussed the PS5 event already, but thank you so much for that 50, man. I really, really do appreciate it. Now we have another $5 um, here. It says state of play is Rambo and Xbox Series X is Murdoch. I'm coming. I'm coming to get you. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate the love. I really do. Thank you so much, uh, Marlon. You're truly the best, bro. Thank you so much, guys. Seriously, you know, I have here my name drag with MBG um, with what was the other PlayStation guy? And you guys always say, yeah, man, you and MBG is like the PlayStation guys, man. Like I come to you guys. I come to you guys, but I appreciate you guys. The only difference with me and MBG is that I cover, um, you know, PlayStation. I cover Xbox. I cover Nintendo. You know, MBG is more of along the lines of PS5 stuff like me and you know xbox stuff but he don't go any far out from that um so that's why a lot of people come to me more because they're like oh yeah mbg's not talking about it. i'm gonna go to marlin appreciate that man i really do oh my god another sponsorship jeez man y'all gonna make me cry today with the support man you know <sighs> look man b mo thank you so much for becoming a sponsor one loving God bless, man. You guys are fire. You guys are insane in your membranes today. But I appreciate um, the support and everything. And, um, you know, BMO, go to the community tab section. And there you will find a link to the private Discord and also my PSN ID. Add me on PSN. Um, you get access to the private Discord to talk to me one on one. You get to talk to me on PSN ID um, and exclusive giveaways when we have them and our game nights, uh, which will be coming really soon or game days for that matter, because I know different time zone for a lot of people. Uh, I says, no lie, your positivity really does motivate me to be a better person. Thank you so much for that, man. Thank you. And, you know, let me say this, man. God makes no mistakes. Oh, yeah, I know. I know. I know I'm talking. I know I should be checking Twitter. My Twitter going off. Um, close your eyes. Always scary. Silent Hill 2. Wait. Tactical nuke incoming! This can't be real. This can't be real. This cannot be real. Oh my. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, Practical oh, nuke. oh my God. Oh. Yo. 
Yo. Oh, oh my God. You know how long we've been hearing rumors about a Silent Hill making its way back and it's going to be on PS5 and supposedly Sony was supposed to be showcasing this. Oh my God. Oh my God. A black screen, bro. It's a wrap, bro. Let's see what Konami is saying. Shout out to Konami, man. It says easy there, internet. We are watching streams of Dead by Daylight and thought we would share the noise and feel of being hunted. We won't take the tweet down and backpedal. We just want you to enjoy it. Oh my God. Okay. What does this tell you guys right now? What does this say right now? Because I'm about to tweet. I'm literally about to tweet about this. Oh my God. OMG. Wait, wait, hold up, hold up. I can't even type. I literally can't even type right out. Oh my God. Is Konami. Can't even spell. I can't see. This is how you know when you get excited, you can't spell. Is Konami. I can't breathe right now. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't breathe, bro. I, I can't breathe right now. This bro, bro. I can't, I, I literally cannot breathe. I can't, I can't breathe right now. This is, this is crazy. This is freaking crazy right now. Let me, let me find an image. I got a tweet about this. I literally, bruh. Oh my God. Oh my God. Wait, hold up. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. And make sure y'all follow me out on Twitter, man. Make sure you make sure you guys follow me out on Twitter. This is insane. Like, I mean. Oh, my God, is Konami hinting at Silent Hill PS5? I can't I can't breathe right now, bro. This is crazy. This is crazy. It says, looks like they are just talking, but who knows? I mean, who knows, man? Who freaking knows? I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know. Look how many retweets they got. I don't know, man. Why would, I don't know. They mentioned Silent Hill, bro. Silent Hill. I don't know, man. I, I think Silent Hill is coming. I th you want my opinion? I think Silent Hill is coming. I think it's Silent Hill is coming some type of way. I think it's coming. It's definitely coming. I'm checking Twitter right now. I'm checking. It says find a silent. Oh, see uh, PS5 Silent Hill reboot coming. See, people already start tweeting about it. People already start tweeting about it. So, I mean, I don't even know what to say, guys. I mean, people already start tweeting about it. So, it's just Dead by Daylight DLC. Yeah, that could potentially, but I do believe we're getting a Silent Hill, though. I think that Silent Hill rumor is true. How many of you guys believe that Sony is going to show us, like, at the next state of play? How many of you guys think that we're going to see Silent Hill for the PlayStation 5? I think it's possible that we could get, you know, Silent Hill. So I, I don't know, man. I think it's possible, bro. Something, bro. I don't know, man. I, I don't know. 
This is crazy right now. This is crazy. Um, let's see here. Yeah, you think so, right? That's what I'm saying. I think I think it's a possibility that we could be getting it. I think it's a huge possibility that we could be getting it. So shout outs to whoever just brought this to my attention. Wait a minute. Uh oh. Oh, Jeff. Oh, the, the, the grub master. Shout outs to Jeff Grub. That's the homie. Um, uh, Jeff, Jeff uh, tweeted and says, it says easy there, Internet. We're we are watching uh, streams of Dead by Daylight and thought it would be OK. <laughs> I think it's a hint. I think it's hit, but I appreciate I literally appreciate Jeff Grubb for um, replying and everything like that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, man, because how many times have we gotten certain type of hints and things um, about certain things from certain companies? But I mean, yes, it's from Death uh, by Daylight, but who knows, man? I mean, who knows? But I appreciate Jeff Grubb for responding to my to my tweet. Um, I appreciate it, man. He responded. Jeff Grubb responded to that real quick. He was like, wait a minute, Marlon. Uh, uh, don't get ahead of yourself. But um, but I mean, only one can speculate, man. I, 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 I don't freaking know. But shout out to Jeff Grubb, man. Jeff Grubb is the homie. Jeff Grubb is the homie, man. I appreciate him actually replying to me. Um, Marlon and MBG are the best. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, something wicked um, this way comes, bro. I'm telling you, man, something is something is happening behind the scenes. But man, Jeff Grubb, Jeff, Jeff Grubb is like, no, Marlon, did you read? Did you read what they're saying? How many times have we seen companies come out and say certain things, but they don't want to come out? And I think Silent Hill is happening. Just imagine Silent Hill on PS5 with the sweat detection of the dual sense, the haptic feedback. Just imagine like the insanity. Um, check Insaniac Twitter. Wait, somebody did, did somebody um hold on. Insaniac? What, what's going on with Insaniac right now? Insaniac games. I'm checking, I'm checking right now. I'm checking, I'm checking. Oh, concept art for oh, what do you guys think about this? Concept art for the SRPA airport sequence for Resistant 2. Um, okay. Now, here's another kicker. We've been hearing rumors about a, how could I even put this? Uh, like Silent, um, not, not just Silent Hill, but Resistance making a return. And I mean, you know, Insaniac is good for tweeting stuff out and just, I don't, I don't know, but I mean, who knows, man, but, oh, remember, remember this. Um, we, we did had a rumor that was actually stating that we could potentially, and I mean, could potentially be getting a revival of a old franchise, man. A lot of people were saying Jack and Daxter. A lot of people were saying Ratchet and Clank. A lot of people were saying Sly Cooper. I mean, it could be anything. I would love a new Resistance. Did you guys play that Resistance game on um, PlayStation Vita? It was pretty good. It was really, really good. But I'm telling you guys right now, man, I do believe at the next state of play, I would not be surprised if Silent Hill is there. I would not. But I appreciate Jeff Grubb. Jeff Grubb actually jumped on my tweet. Shout outs to Jeff Grubb, man. That's, that's the dude right there. Look how many retweets, guys. Look how many retweets they're getting. Oh my God, bro. Look how many retweets they're getting. Look at this. It's jumping by the second. So if that's, bro, this is obviously a getaway. Look how many tweets, retweets they're getting, bro. Just because they mentioned Silent Hill. And I know this is supposed to be like a death by daylight type of thing, but you mentioned Silent Hill, people are automatically going to assume that oh man silent hill coming back bro we've been getting so much freaking rumors man so much freaking rumors marlon i still play resistance all of them one uh one two and three yeah yeah most definitely resistance three on playstation now wow 
Um, but I said, really enjoy this. Okay. Uh, Sly, uh, Sly Cooper, not sure about if they're, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, if anything, we're probably going to get a new, um, what was that game? Um, infamous infamous and i heard that it's supposed to be like some type of new game or so they might be doing but it says marlon you the true goat bro appreciate y'all man i really do appreciate you guys man i mean who knows man but see every <laughs> oh my god but jeff i appreciate jeff responding to me though and just really like bringing this to to to, to my head man so i mean what do you guys think what do you guys think? Do you guys think that we're going to get Silent Hill for PS5? Do you guys think that we're going to get it a reveal for it next month? It's a possibility. I'm still holding on to it. I'm still holding on because that game is long overdue and we need something. We need we need a a, a good horror game that's going to really blow us back. Imagine if that is a launch game. That would be insane. I, I don't want to think too much. I don't want to think too deep into it, but I think it would I think it would just be dope. Um <clears throat> I think it would just be dope. If if that's the case. I'm gonna respond to Jeff. I, I said, thank you, um, Jeff. I'm hoping for the game to come to PS5. So I'm I'm praying it happens, guys. I'm literally praying that this this happens. And you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I saw your tweet. I responded back to Jeff and everything. So um I man, I'm I'm just I'm just hoping for the best, man. I'm I'm hoping that somehow, some type of way, uh, you know, we can we can get this. We definitely can get this. Hello, uh, Just. How you doing? Thank you so much. But anyway, guys, I appreciate you guys coming through the day, supporting the show, making the show what it is. Love you guys from the bottom of my heart, from the depths of my soul. I appreciate you guys so much, man. Seriously, I'm going to get these timestamps going for you guys so that anybody who is re-watching the show can get the specific times um, correct. So appreciate you guys, man. Love y'all from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much for making the show what it is. God bless. Thank you for the donation. New sponsors. Thank you so much. Make sure you go to the community tab. Click on that private discord link. Add me on PSN because when I'm on there, I want to chop it up with you guys. So did you guys enjoy the show today? I hope you guys did, man. So thank you guys so much, man. One love and God bless. Peace. We out here. Let's go, boys. Take care, guys. Have a blessed one. Keep your distance. Use your hand sanitizer. Stay epic, everybody. <laughs>